Hi, my loves. Happy solstice. I wanted to help you get into the water element today. The 21st marks the moment where we finish with the metal element season and move into the water element. And water element is all about new beginnings, inception, conception, dreams, um, the unconscious, the intuition. So you're going to go into the dark today and it'll be the longest darkness of the year, the longest night of the year. And so I want to help you tune into the channels of energy in your body that'll help you connect to the water element and to those aspects of the element that are yin, reflective, um, clarity, all of that good stuff. So you can see I'm wearing my water element leggings today and you can see this seam. This is only part of the tracking of the water channel. It's yang, so it actually starts at the corner in the inner eye here. It goes through your third eye, it comes up and over your head, goes down through your neck, bifurcates at the neck, splits in two on both sides. So it'll go down the outer edge of your spine in two can see on the seams here it zigzags around your sacrum it's still in two it goes down the back of the leg on the latter aspect and a little bit to the very center of your hamstring and it goes down your calves and into your pinky toes so the way that we're going to activate that line of tissue that carries the chi that is really the um, the conduit for the chi um, is we'll do our little resistance stretch. So go ahead and take your pyramid set up. So both legs into a classic pyramid. You can have a ledge or something like that to hold on to. Or you could put some blocks under your hands, your choice. Lift up onto your back toes. My back foot slightly turned out. Swoop your heel back so that it activates this tissue. So you want to be engaged as you stretch. Really important. Pull your heel back and then sit into your back knee like you're doing on your market set go. Inhale, come forward to relax and then reactivate, pulling your heel back as you sit back. That's the really important part that's going to create the floss of the fascia. As you floss your fascia up, you're creating a more efficient conduit. This channel gets cleaner. It's like you're unkinking the garden hose. So pull your heel back as you sit back, do 10 or so, I don't know, I would do 30 at least, and you're just pulsing it. The point of the movement and not a hold like in classic stretching is that it'll bring more lymph flow, more blood flow, and you'll get connected to more aspects of the connective tissue instead of just the end range, if you can make sense of that. So you're pulling your heel back, and as I'm working with this channel, I'm also thinking about aspects of the water element. Let's switch sides, stepping one foot forward, switching to your other foot back, pulling your front heel back, so you're really kicking back with your foot, feeling that activation, and then sitting into your back knee to sit back. So thinking about the water element, so letting myself start from square one, finding the beginning, finding the dream, the conception. Um, it's the initiation of the cycle of the elements. We start with water, move to wood, wood moves to fire. Fire gives way to earth. Earth, earth creates metal and metal releases and relinquishes back into water. So it's this beginning of the cycle in most traditions. Oh, I hope we're back. <laughs> so just, I was saying, imagining what you want to create this year on this solstice day, on the darkest day of the year. Just kind of funny. I'm in Cali now, and it's like perfectly sunny and gorgeous out. <laughs> so that's bladder. Bladder is the yang aspect of water. Now we want to go to the yin aspect of water. You can see the seam on my inner leg here is marking our kidney channel and this really is the seat of our intuition the extraordinary aspect of the channel finishes in your third eye but this channel goes up your inner legs into your loins into the kidneys and marks kind of the inner aspect of the core body and finds the inner aspect of the sternum and its main point here at kidney 27 or the final point here underneath the collarbone and then there's that extra meridian that pops up into the third eye. 
So to activate your kidney channel, you wanna hug your legs together so you're lighting up the tissue that creates the channel. Squeeze in, keep squeezing in with your knees and then use your elbows to press yourself down. And it's like you're bowing down to your own wisdom. Inhale to come up, squeeze together with your inner legs, keep squeezing in. It feels so yummy to be active as you're stretching. It won't feel like the same kind of traditional stretch sensation, but after a while you get really connected to this sweet um, linking up with the fascia. You want to link up with your fascia in order to change it. Does that make sense? So it's different than finding the end range and trying to press to go forward. It's like you're connecting to your whole webbing of fascia, this internet connected network that transfers all of our chi, it transfers our energy. So finding that inner aspect of your inner legs, plugging your knees down. Let's go for four more and then really let your um, attention go inside and see if you can find that um, node of reflection, your ability to reflect, to find your inner wisdom, your inner knowing. Very nice, and just hang loose a little bit here. Let your neck go. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out, and then stack your spine to sit up nice and tall. Last thing here, let's find the point that we just love on our leggings here, which really is to help um, let go of the yang that can get really uptight um, in our um and our, our yang channel, if we're kind of the energy stuck up, it can't ground us down. And if the yang isn't grounding down, then the yin can't rise. So it's sometimes really good to go after the yang, even though the yin is maybe deficient. Um, in other words, the kidneys aren't getting to do all the amazing things they do. They have so many jobs, by the way. If the yang energy is kind of like stuck up, it needs to drop down, it needs to be supportive so that the yin, the kidney aspect can rise. Um, capito, maybe that makes sense to some of us. Um, this point here is in the very center of your hamstrings. So you find the median point between your sit bone and your knee, and then right into the center aspect. So it's almost like you're finding the crisscross, the very, very center of the belly of your hamstring. And that point's marked on all of our water leggings if you want to give that a try. I like to go two fingers kind of up and in like I'm making a little claw hand. And then you can drop the weight of the hamstring. Also really good, the best is to put a ball right here and then roll it out. Or you can take your block and pop it underneath and use the outer edge of the block to kind of rock and roll your... Um, uh, bladder 37 that's the the point there and it's a really great one for releasing the lower back if you know anyone that has a prostate it's apparently good for that and um, try both sides right doing both sides both sides have the same point um, funny sometimes I'll go get a massage and I'll stick their fingers right in there and then I'll feel a surge of energy up my lower back so if you have lower back stuff this is a good point to check out yeah, but I hope you have a really beautiful solstice. I hope you take a little time for yourself. And I love you guys so much. And don't forget to, um, you know, shop the Ghost Flower Collection. Help small businesses. And um, we love you tons. These guys are almost sold out. So if they are sold out, don't worry. There will be more on the way in a couple months. So um, go run and grab it right now if you can. Lots of love. Have a good one.